Bogo, officially the city of Bogo, Cebuano, Dakbayan Sa Bogo, Tagalog, Lungsod ng Bogo, or simply known as Bogo City, is a sixth class city in the province of Cebu, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 78,120 people. Bogo City is located in the northeastern coast of Cebu Province, on the principal island of Cebu. It is 101 kilometers 63 miles from Cebu City and is accessible by land and sea. Bogo has an area of 103.5 square kilometers 40.0 square miles, which constitutes 2.3% of the area of Cebu Island and 2.1% of the total land area of Cebu Province. Bogo City is bordered on the north by the town of Medellin, to the west by the town of San Remigio, on the east by the Camote Sea, and on the south by the town of Tabagon. History The year 1600 saw the founding of a real settlement which was subsequently transformed into a barangay with small huts made of cogon grass and bamboo, standing where the Bogo Central Extension now stands. While the barangay was then part of another community in the north, today's town of Donbantayan, the natives enjoyed tacit freedom of self-rule although they continued to pay tributes and taxes to the chieftain of Donbantayan. This barangay grew in prominence and for this reason, it was separated from Donbantayan. In January 1850 the Bishop of Cebu, appointed Spanish friar Fr. Jamie Michaelot as the first parish priest of Bogo and decreed St. Vincent Ferrer as the town's patron saint. The first Mass was celebrated in the hastily built chapel on 5 April 1850, to coincide with the death anniversary of the patron saint. This chapel was later gutted by fire and a new stone church was constructed at the place where the Bogo town plaza is now located. About this time, the Spanish authorities in Bogo introduced civil government. Pedro Abal became the first Cabeza de Barangay or mayor from 1864 to 1869. Senator Pedro L. Rodriguez, popularly known as the Grand Old Man of Bogo, named one of the oldest streets of the town after him. In those times, a Cabeza de Barangay took charge of the collection of tributes to support the encomienda system of Spain. Later the tribute was substituted by the Papalita Cedula, which the individual paid in two installments annually. A taxpayer who could not afford to pay the cost of Papalita in the amount of 1.50 pesos was made to work on local projects at 50 centavos a week. Because of this, a good number of delinquent taxpayers escaped and hid in the mountain fastness of Bogo. Early historians aver that the town of Bogo derived its name from a lone Bogo tree or Garuga floribunda, which stood on the shore where now is Bogo Wharf. Here the inhabitants met traders who sailed in loaded with goods to be sold or bartered. Thus this spot became a rendezvous for traders and merchants as well as for nature lovers and leisure seekers. Some of these traders remained and married locals. A few years before the turn of the 20th century, eventful episodes took place in the town marked by fire and blood. The nationalistic fervor of the Katipuneros in Luzon fanned the flames of the resistant movement in Cebu. In Bogo, the younger kin of the Katipuneros, the so called Pulahans, exacted heavy tolls on the forces of the Cazadores Guardia Civil, CF Cacadores, during fierce encounters near the outskirts of the town. Although the Pulahans were ill-armed, untrained and outnumbered at times, they nevertheless continued to hit back at the enemy. Success seemed almost within reach when in 1898 an American cavalry unit under Captain Rowan landed at Nayland Point and proceeded to the Poblacion where his troops assembled in front of the church. He was met by Pedro L. Rodriguez then Presidente Municipal of the town, and they soon sealed an agreement for the protection of the civilian populace of the town. World War II Again in 1941, the Philippines, being a territory of the United States, became a battleground in an undeclared war between the invading Japanese Imperial forces and the combined Filipino-American troops. After the surrender of the USAFFE many from Bogo refused to swear allegiance to the Japanese. They went into the hills and organized guerrilla warfare headed by disbanded officers of the constabulary and army units in the province, cognizant of the anti-Japanese sentiment of this armed group who were determined to carry out harassment tactics against the occupation troops in northern Bogo. Six Japanese seaplanes bombed the town of Bogo on the early morning of 12 December 1942. 
Several civilians were killed and many injured. In order to quell the seething rebellion, the Japanese military authorities in Cebu established a garrison in the town in a building now owned by the Northern Cebu Colleges. As a means to win the loyalty and support of the people of the town, a local puppet administration was established in Bogo under Japanese supervision, with Moises Lepitan appointed town mayor during the occupation. Liberation came in 1944, and civilian government soon restored. Former Municipal Secretary Perfecto Andrino was appointed first mayor of Bogo by President Manuel Roxas in 1945. In the first election held after the war, Severo Varallo was elected with a considerable majority and appointed town mayor. The plebiscite for the cityhood of Bogo was held on 16 June 2007 in which 97.82% of voters of Bogo voted for cityhood. Former Representative Clavel ASA's Martinez announced that the cityhood of Bogo has been ratified. It became the sixth component city of Cebu Province. Government Center The new Bogo City Hall was inaugurated on 19 April 2013 by President Benigno Aquino III. On 8 November 2013, a powerful super typhoon Haiyan, also known as Yolanda, badly hit northern Cebu, where Bogo City is located and not spared the widespread devastation. Typhoon Yolanda destroyed almost everything from infrastructure to agriculture, 90% left homeless and 13 died in Bogo, among more than 6,000 fatalities in central Philippines. City Hall was one of the structures damaged, its roof got ripped off, its windows broken and other parts of the building also affected and devastated. Barangays Bogo comprises 29 barangays. Demographics Fiestas and festivals Fiesta Sa Bogo Bogo City celebrates two town fiestas in every year in honor of its patron saint, St. Vincent Ferrer. The 5th of April is the official feast day or the death anniversary of San Vicente Ferrer. Many pilgrims around the world will come to venerate the patron saint and almost all activities in this fiesta are religious activities only. 26 to 27 May considered the biggest town fiesta celebration where most visitors come to witness the events, which include the search for Ms. Bogo Festival Queen and the celebration of the official festival of Bogo City, the Pintos Festival. The Pintos Festival involves creative street dancing depicting the sangi planting and thanksgiving of the abundant harvest and merrymaking through dancing the Kuyayang, a Bagahanan courtship dance staged in front of the community during fiestas. Barangays all around Bogo join together to form Fives Cluster Tribes, Bogo City Charter Day, the 16th of June. Education Media Cable and TV stations Bogo Cable TV, Inc. Major TV networks based in Cebu City have signals in the city. Newspapers National and local daily newspapers, tabloids and magazines are available in the city. City of Bogo has its own quarterly official publication. K-A-N-A-A-S. Gikan Sa Amianan, A Whisper from the North. City Landmarks The Archdiocesan Shrine of St. Vincent Ferrer the Shrine of the Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal, La Paz, Bogo City Bogo City Hall Capitancillo Islet Bogo City Plaza Park Bogo City Public Library and Museum Bogo Public Market Bogo Bus Terminal Gaisano Mall Bogo Notable people Gabriel Flash Ellard, 1935-1985, professional boxer, world super featherweight champion. Marcelo Fernand, 1927-1999, held the top position of the two branches of government of the Republic of the Philippines, as Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of the Philippines and then as President of the Senate of the Philippines. 
Celestino Martinez, authored. Raw 7160 The Local Government Code of the Philippines. Dina Morales, born Sharon Garcia Magdeo, 1975, singer, actress, and model. Neil Murillo, born Orlando Murillo IV, 1999, singer, Pinoy boy band superstar winner, boy band fa member. Pedro Rodriguez, 1869-1932, known as the Grand Old Man of Bogo. City Him. The Bogo City Council has passed an ordinance requiring all schools in Bogo to sing the Bogo Hymn in all flag-raising ceremonies and school programs just like the Philippine National Anthem. Looping Hinarang. Radio stations based in Bogo are also required to play the hymn every sign on and sign off. City legislation prohibits the alteration of the lyrics, tempo and tune in the rendition of Bogo hymn entitled, Paday in Bogo. Notes References Sources External links Official website of the City Government of Bogo Bagahanan Social Network City of Bogo Townfolks celebrate Bogo's cityhood The Bogo Times <laughs>